Hey everyone, it's Saskia here, Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going on like six hours sleep in the last two days, but I just had a shower, <laughs> thankfully, and uh, look, feel a little more human again, look a little more human again. Um, so the video that you're gonna watch, it's gonna upset a lot of you. You're gonna be very angry. There's some images of guinea pigs um, that were not treated in the best way. Um, this is also a combination for me for a, a saga that's been going on for a while that I am just so happy finally to be able to close. Um, this is also a criminal investigation, so I do not have footage on site. I just have footage that we took when we arrived back here. But basically what I'm saying is that we, we came home last night with about 250 guinea pigs from a hoarding situation up in North California. So the reason I'm doing this, this video before I'm showing you the, um, the footage that we shot today is because I really want everyone to focus on the positive side of this rescue, okay? I don't want people to dwell on how, you know, on, 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 on the past. The past is the past and we are going forward and we are going to make these animals healthy and better and find them homes and, and that's all the good stuff. So I really don't want to focus on that. It's negative energy. Um, it, it's not going to serve a purpose. It really isn't. So I, I really just want to make sure that we all just focus on the positive and going forward the animals are going to be happy. They're going to be beautiful. You're going to follow them over the next few weeks. Um, and you know, like I said, I, there's really not much I can tell about the general situation because this is an ongoing investigation, but there is a family involved. Um, so if we just go and spew a bunch of hate online about this, it is not going to serve any good purpose. It really isn't. Okay. There's a minor involved in this situation. Um, I, I really urge everybody to just be nice and just like me approach the situation with love okay that is really the best way and I urge all of you to do that can you do that thank you hi everyone so we're all packed up come and take a look and we are going places we are picking up a bunch of guinea pigs and uh, we'll be coming back with a lot of guinea pigs long drive ahead it's amazing. How long? About 12 hours. 12 hours. Each direction. Just... <laughs> so that's going to take us like two and a half days and we have to stay overnight. I mean, it's not fun. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to findings, you know, finding, finding out what state these animals are in. So, um, but you know, let's do it. Smile on our face and let's do it. It's part of the job. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. Road trip. We're uh, safe travels. some of our volunteers, Bye. and we are off Love you guys. Safe trip. on a rescue mission, a pretty involved rescue mission. So uh, it's a big road trip, going to be taking in a lot of uh, guinea pigs, um, and it's going to, they'll be back in a couple of days. Life's about to get really, really crazy here at the rescue. A lot of uh, guinea pigs in need. So we're staying here, holding down the fort and getting ready to set up. Hi everyone. I'm on a road trip. Me and Gabe are on a road trip actually. And it's a long road trip. So I thought, you know, let's make the best of it. And I'm just going to go live and, and I can answer questions because of, I haven't really had time or, or chance to, to do any lives at all, so I thought this would be a perfect chance because I got all this time to kill and uh, make my time go faster. And if I can help anybody, then that would make me happy. Hi, y'all.
Okay, so we just finished setting up. It's about 9 p.m. and we're expecting Saskia to show up in the middle of the night with all the guinea pigs. And this is our female stall, uh, stall number five, where we usually have all of our females. And we have two CNC cages that were just built today for the very actively pregnant ones. This is the general female population down here. And then here we have some possibly pregnancy watch pigs as well. Um, not the ones that are sh terribly showing, but just a couple that uh, we think need to be monitored. And then on this side of the barn, we're, we have um, the stall with all of our uh, males. So we have about a total of 18 single cages for critical males, uh, meaning that they have some serious type of injuries that we are going to be having to monitor closely. Um, and these are all Midwest cages that have been divided into two. And we will be placing them all in here and monitoring them closely. This will be the general population for all of the males that are coming in. Um, and back here we have a little area closed off for some of the mildly injured males, possibly some that have some bite wounds that need to be monitored, but doesn't require too many, um, too much monitoring as closely as our criticals. So we didn't get to our tail till like four in the morning and we had to be up at like 6.30. Oh my gosh, but look at the view, beautiful. So we were stacking up the boxes at the property. This is kind of the end of the day and then, you know, slowly putting them into the trailer and you'll see it slowly filling up. Uh, Gabe is really good with logistics, so he was able to, you know, figure it all out and make it all fit. It's just unbelievable. And here you can see written on the site ICU or MED, and those were the ones with special needs. I did open some of the female boxes and quickly took a photo, which um, I guess that was allowed because I didn't really show anything else uh, that was going on around us. Um, so, yeah. Took us a while to pick up, and then after that, we, we were on our way home. So here we are. This is the calm before the storm. Uh, we went on a huge hoarding rescue mission and they're just coming back. Did about 24 hours or more of road trip to collect these guys via animal control, and they're coming in. So here we are, the calm before the storm. Nice long uh, road trip, the return. Uh, they're just getting back after over 24 hours of road trip, and uh, here we go. Everyone's home. Here we go. We're going to be unloading shortly and see what we can do for these little guys. Welcome home, piglets. You're safe. Uh, here we are. Somewhere around guinea pig number 73. Does not feel obviously pregnant, so. I'm gonna put her in here. I'm gonna get them hydrated. It's okay, little It's okay, little um, So we're trying to separate them out into act the level of pregnancy. All 74 of them need to go on pregnancy watch for uh, 10 weeks, 70 days. And we've divided it up. Yep. And now we're just trying to let them decompress and hydrate, get some greens. And, uh, then we'll go on and start the health check, separating every single one of them and doing a full health check nail trim, hypermixing treatment, 
girls. Welcome. Quite a few wounds and injuries, so we're gonna address those. You are kind of stuck in the corner and a little scared. Yeah. Look at that. What is all this? Look at this. Hey, girls. Welcome to your new house. I love to see. to be picked up. Actively pregnant females, but um, we're gonna move on to the males now. So let's uh, let's leave the girls to eat and rest. Stretch their legs. So we're taking out all the medical males. All oh, right, he's got this massive wound on his side. Look. Oh my. Yeah. So we gotta get Oof. that treated right away. What do we got. Like critical males over here. This guy's got some wounds on his back as well. Oh, look at this guy right here. He's got some. Um, look at this guy. He's missing some front incisors. Oh, look at this guy's eye. Let's get it from this angle. Poor guy. Oh, good that ears You've all seen chewed a lot of up. That. Ears chewed up, but a lot of missing eyes. A lot of missing eyes. Oh, look at it. He's got a little crusties on the nose. So, Lots of long hair guinea pigs. Hey, buddy. What's your story? Oh, he looks a little crusty. He's got some bite wounds on his butt. Those are the first ones to come out. The last two, put in. Look at this guy. All right, let's see who else we got here. Oh, honey, look at his eye. His ear. All of the ears are chewed up. Yeah. Oh, oh this no. eye is missing. Oh, this. Love. Yeah. Okay, sweetheart. All let's right. get you in here. We're gonna. And this, they've got, all got these horrific bite wounds, and they've been exposed far too long. see what number. Every single one is numbered. See, but the M is for male. And 14 tells me that he was one of the first ones I pulled. Oh, yeah. So that needs treatment. But they all have, they absolutely, most of them have some Got eye it. injury. They also have some um, discharge from the nose. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is months and months of constant, an eye issue. constant nipping on these pigs. This guy too, oh. look at them, so many of them with the same type of issues. You okay, buddy? You alright? Look at your whole setup, okay, buddy? Let's go put you over here. Well, he's 17. Your eyes okay? Yeah. So, a lot of broken legs. And I think this is one of them. Oh, look at that impaction. Oh, that's why. Oh, yeah. Oof. It's a big impaction. I don't have gloves there. We'll get you some gloves. Okay, little man. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow, another impaction. So Let people always see. ask us, like, how would guinea pigs in the wild take care of themselves? They they, they don't. Like, if they well, have impactions. In the wild, the, right. the hawks probably take care of it before it becomes an issue. I mean, right. predators, you've got shortened life expectancy. Um, need some lettuce and then find a yeah. little corn to let them out. Yeah, are those non-medicals? So, well, first, <coughs> I'm gonna look at him and first this uh, sauce. We, this is mild medical, like impaction. It's nothing. Hmm? You, you wait, wait till you get okay. it all out. I'm all just, right, let's just. That, he looks pretty good to me in his, yeah. the, in the sense. So I don't know. If, I think what we need to do is 
is their fighting ability is we move them if they're really feeling good and god it's it's, it's none of it makes sense it's just tough the weaker males here and the stronger ones down on the floor we'll just have to ass- we'll there. just have to assess it assess each one yeah who's this all right so look at that eye eye. a lot of eyes oh my look at that mouth Oof. and then dropping down can you got see all in here it's hard as a rock in here right in terms of impaction Those nails Hi, buddy. The front paw. I think the the teeth is what's most critical. Right. So and a lot got of these, these mats back here, but the teeth are. A lot of these weren't getting any hay, right, Sass? I think you they mentioned. They were not fed hay. Yeah, apparently they were fed straw, but that's not. They don't eat that. It's bedding. Right. So, so we're, I'm a, we're expecting to find a lot of malocclusion issues because they haven't been using those molars properly. Oh, well, look, some of them are. Some of them are starting to. Every single to one of these males, it was 170 something, I believe, or 100, and I forget. But look, he's got a missing eye. They all have issues. Yeah. Every single one. I mean, it's it's just uh, unbelievable. You're right. And look this at his other eye. This one's got some fungal from what I noticed on the foot as well on the top. And he's completely fused his this his little leg. See that? These guys must be older, right? Well, you would some guess. of them are a little older, but um, like the first one we just saw, the gray, but a lot of them look older than they are because see this is completely fused. That, that is probably and this one also is like bad arthritis. Um, but he doesn't look that old. Well, that's that's a good way, you know. We always say if a guinea pig is kept, you know, well taken care of, they can live a lot longer. But these are closer to the end of life because they weren't cared for here, we'll very well. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. So we got going on here some of these cages. Oh, look, he's chowing down. This guy's got teeth problems, but he's really enjoying the pellets. Some of them aren't adjusting that well yet, but they'll come around. Look at this guy right here. He's trying to get some pellets. This is, yeah, this is one that would have been considered okay over (laughs) while we were doing our triaging. And you can see he's not okay, but this is what is the norm. This is what all of them look like. You know, he happens to be very skinny. They all have these massive wounds on their back from fighting. All of them. Crusty. Their fur just doesn't look lustrous and healthy. Oh, no, they're not. I can't wait for two weeks from now how much better they already look. Oof. This eye is definitely currently infected and unfortunately, both eyes. I mean, that's the opacity to the eyes and the pressure and swelling under there. And... It's okay, buddy. It's all right. Let's take a look here. Oh, overgrown, definitely. Yeah. Due so, to lack of... Um, I think the eye issues seem to be... That one definitely looks a little pussier than the other ones. Yeah. Because yeah. that one's actively infected. And you can see from the ears, these are old, old injuries, oh but they're obviously... Barely has an ear. Yeah. This is hanging on. So, and same on this side. Just that comes from uh, being overcrowded and fighting. So he's one of the better looking ones, but you can look at his nose. Looks young for sure. You see the. Sorry. He's got some energy on him. Oh, but look at the nose. bite wounds that he's developed over time and the crusties. Oh, yeah, lots of crusties. And this is a young boy. Yeah, he's a young male. Ooh, ouchie. Oh, the wow, nails. you got energy. Those yeah. nails definitely could yeah. use a trim. Oh, look at this guy. He's exploring. Finding his way around. And they all walk like that. See how vitamin C deficient and scurvy? Yeah. They they all walk like that. They all walk like old men. Like arthritis wouldn't. Yes. But it's yes. not arthritis. It's just it's the lack of, lack of nutrients. Scurvy, yeah. So... <clears throat> 
that also causes a lot of joint pain, scurvy. That's why vitamin so, C is so important. Their diet consisted of mainly, from what I understand, carrots, raw potatoes, and bread. I didn't even know anything to eat bread. Oh, see, here we have some fighting already going on. That little tricolor over there. He's so what happened to make a music bigger? Did you do that? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, this is already the biggest doll, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, they're piling up. <clears throat> wow, it's just... Look at this. We are unloading as fast as we can. Gosh, we just put him out. Hey, buddy. Look at you. He's totally blind. His eyes are so messed up. And the teeth. Now, yeah, look at this. Okay. He goes into one of the medical cages. Yep. But we're going to run out of space on those soon. Yep. Because most of them are critical, critical issues. Critical cases. And we realized actually this is not enough space, so we are setting up a second stall right now. Nice, nice. Yeah, all of them will have that. Absolutely every single one. Hi, buddy, are you okay? You're gonna be okay this now. Is skinny all looking right? too. Yeah, but this is just. All right, buddy. my little one. I love this little guy. You're having a good. Yeah, you got your own hotel room, luxury suite. Hello. Oh, so, here we are still working away as fast as we can. There is a, another area we're opening up that Luis is setting up right now. But we're going to just keep an eye here and then we're going to start pulling, separating. This guy also oh is my super gosh, little man. old. The eye. Boy. He's really thin eye. under here. You can just feel how bony he is. So he's going to go in a separate cage yeah. and a he's snotty not nose. Go. Yeah. Yeah. And the it's ears. Yep. Hematoma, torn ears. All right. Getting his phone cooler set up just so you know this is the area that we have our pigs in the sure. overflow. We have massive swamp cooler there. That thing in the in the corner. Yeah. Sorry. Is this that's number 73? Yeah. So here that's you've got I noticed that. Something that's going some on hematoma here. maybe. I don't know. Depending on his age, could be a cancer. Yeah. So we'll take a look at him. We'll keep him separated as well. Although Dr. Nan is uh Dr. Nan will be coming, checking them all out. All right. Amaryllis is helping. Okay, let's quickly check in here with the ladies. Hi, girls. A lot of them are perked up. There were one that were just frozen in fear, and, and they're all underneath there. So we might actually uh, get that covered up so that they can't really hide under there because I'd like to see them. I don't like them hiding. Um, but they're doing okay. I mean, they are okay. They were separated from the males. So they are actually doing much, much better. And I'm so glad that I got to take this, the males. I, I'm just a delight. I, I can't tell you. Tears in my eyes because that's a group I wasn't able to help some years back. And then here, as you see, I mean, it's just a madhouse here. We could do with some more people, but it is what it is. We got our hardcore people here. Everyone's helping. And I'm taking this video. I should be helping, but I want everyone to obviously see what we're dealing with. And, and Gabe has, what, you slept like, what, three hours, five hours in two days. It's a 12-hour drive to where we went and back, 12 hours. So we've slept nothing. 
so oh my gosh we have no light set up here so we're just using this of the ring lights to give us some light but um, let's just check in real quick hi children hi would you like some of this so this is some of my collard green that I grow lots of good stuff in it yeah this is what you need you need vitamin C high vitamin C food because you know what we're looking at is scurvy a lot a lot of scurvy uh, and they are going crazy for it it's like they know that it, it contains the you know the kind of leaving the the lettuce it's like they know that this contains the vitamins that they're that they need oh my goodness hello there hi little guy and you see how all of them are kind of walking walking like that they're all there's a lot of limping and there's a lot of you now the younger ones are feeling good or making trouble over there so we're going to be monitoring that closely separating them but we have to get them up here first in order to really see their behavior and see which ones we also still have to you know pull off the floor that is important too because they cannot all stay in general population hey guys hi i'm coming to say hi but i can't tell you how what a happy happy day this is for me uh, this has been a long time coming that we got these guys and it's uh it's it's bittersweet because you know the family that is involved there is a criminal investigation going on I cannot comment on the location I cannot comment on the uh, specifics of the case um, I cannot show you any footage on site this was a police operation uh, we were graciously asked to help and uh, we did we came and took absolutely every single guinea pig off the property and now we are realizing that we're in trouble <laughs> well in trouble I mean we are experienced we, we, we can do this but um, it's a uh, it's it, it's a lot of work guys these are all males and they cannot stay together here they're some troublemakers we've already packed some of them we have an area there for the mildly injured males that as you can see are not as active as the other ones uh, then we have our cages up here for the ones that are you know a very serious need of um, of medication and care but we're gonna just put them all out for now we have more to unload but we're realizing this is getting too full so we're gonna move on to the second stall um, we're gonna assess every single one of these guys every single one and see what their issues are hi hi honey and you're sitting here next to me would you like some of this no you're a little scared huh and these they're just chilling over there they're just exhausted you know it was a hundred and forty four females I believe I'm so bad at numbers but over a hundred and eighty males more of the good stuff and then we love the pellets but yes yeah, scurvy is rife here and scurvy can cause all kinds of uh, very painful condition um, joint pain is, is one of them hemorrhaging bleeding internal bleeding hemorrhaging um, it's uh, it's very, very, very painful. So we will see some of these males walking like the old man with a little butt up in the air. And these are young boys. That is a very typical sign of scurvy. So, you know, when you look at them like this, they all look okay. However, when you get closer in on, on, on some of them, you'll notice that there's not one that's okay. See, this one has an eye missing. This has another eye. But if you're just looking at them from a distance, you think, oh, look, nice, cute, healthy guinea pigs. But none of them are. None. There's just very few that are actually healthy. And there's some real troublemakers there. I'm on my hands and knees. Man, yesterday, that's all I was doing. I covered, covered in feces and choking from ammonia. Um, 
a lot of their respiratory kind of looking issues are also from probably the bedding that had not been cleaned timely causing respiratory upsets and you are so completely blind you don't even know I'm here no look at him hopping I've seen a lot of broken legs uh, that have been um, healed incorrectly guys see that's what's gonna happen when you have a whole bunch of meals together so um, we're gonna just figure out personalities and start separating out but for now this this is what we got hey stop stop it you there yeah you cut it out and these guys are smart they're just chilling but boys will be boys Okay, take it easy over there. Okay, here comes the guinea pig police. Yep, this time I am the guinea pig police. Cut it out, buddy. On hands and knees. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, you don't even know what I look like. It's terrible, I look like absolute poop. I haven't slept. It's literally been, we left on Monday and today, what is today? It's Wednesday. I don't even know, I lost track of time. It's a 12 hour drive. And then we worked our butts up yesterday morning for hours and hours, pecking all these guys up. Um, had a Zoom meeting with a doctor in, um, at UC Davis to re record all the injuries. So I um, was holding up a guinea pigs for him and discussing the injuries that we, we found for court case. Hey, 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 hey. So I'm tired, but I'm, my work's not done yet because we still have. Okay, I think I need to just take you there, Mr. Black and White. I think I'm gonna have to just grab you because you are nothing but a troublemaker. So I'm gonna get him out. Okay, more later. This is, uh, let me grab the troublemaker. Hey buddy, he's blind. I just put him in here. Let me get him some water. There you go. What a good boy. He's so good. There's more if you want. No? Okay. What about you, buddy? Oh, I'm so sorry. chattering at the water bottle. It's a water bottle. No, not today. So once these are all doing great and Healed up. They're gonna be beautiful little guinea pigs. And I'm a little worried about that guy. He hasn't moved that much. But really, um, every single one has got something wrong. And even if you don't can't see it, I can pull one off any of these up, and I can show you things that are that are not okay that you won't see i just got to show you pull some hair away they have lots of bites and look how skinny this little guy hey, little man and then you can see this less, much less rambunctious area that we have already packed as being our second line needing special care. But there'll be some in here as well that will be moving over here or over to the medication cages because and we just did what we could with all of this. We do what we can. 
Okay, and this is the second area we've set up. So, these are like our borders. And then the boys will here go on the floor. So we're gonna start now and get them all out of their boxes and into, into here. So it got really noisy here because we're putting all the fans on, but this is the boxes that I'm working on right now, putting in the other stall. So this is the last of it. So I just put some of the new ones on here and you can see making its way to the lettuce. Just wanted to rehydrate. It was on a very long drive, but every single one did great. Uh, also not our first rodeo so we kind of know how to do this unfortunately unfortunately yes so I'm gonna just continue putting on putting the mails in rolling oh you are feisty Ooh. oh buddy yeah. okay go in here like hay, lots of lettuce, carrots, and uh, all the shavings in the boxes to seed them through and it looks like for what's left in all the boxes it did a great job. <laughs> This guy down. Hi, little man. Here, come with me. Is that Hi, how does that one look? Up messed up eye one. Yeah. Oh, let's leave messed up eye guy in here because we're gonna have all the messed up ones in here. Okay. All right. Let me take this guy back. So we're just still unboxing, and this guy. Look at his eye. Oh my goodness. So he's gonna go in one of the last remaining critical pages. Almost there, this is the last of the boxes, so we've been working our butts up. We made a few changes while, as we're going along to make more space here. And um, all right, let's get all these boxes done and open up and the piggy safe. And the last one, oh my goodness. So they were all given numbers. This is mail, this is their, I guess, case number I'm not sure but that means mail number 142 uh, but in fact right now he's mail 180 or so because that's how many boys we, we have okay buck wild okay 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 sweetheart oh. you're okay you're okay yeah say hi all right he's really wild but you're looking healthy that's good that is really good healthy-ish okay now let's walk over to the other area so these are the ones that are the old men very skinny missing eyes etc but there's more on the main floor that we're going to pull. Hey, hey, you are a troublemaker. That little one there, that little long hair. To pull him. So we're going to go and every single one is going to get a proper health check that we, we just wanted to get them out of the boxes. Look at this little monkey. He's like the little one and him as well. We're going to not take, put them on the floor. We're going to take them over to the front right now. Uh, and then we're going to set up a health check station right here and we're going to start working. Start getting to work, man, as if we haven't <laughs> we thought we were done, but we're only just starting. <laughs> 